Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're answering your questions. Today's question is a popular one. I get this all the time. It's what is a good hitting position? And so I'm gonna give you a couple of keys for you to focus on to make sure that you're in a good position to launch the barrel. For me, that's the most important thing is getting into the proper position on time, right? If you don't get into a consistent hitting position in a solid hitting position, you'll never be able to get a consistent swing off and you, and you won't have a good swing, okay? So you have to get into that really strong hitting position. If you go online right now and type in any hitter in the big leagues that has success, you're gonna see a very consistent hitting position. And by hitting position, what I mean is, basically when your brain is about to tell your body to swing. And for most hitters, that's gonna be right as your front foot is about to hit the ground, right? Right about there, right? Most hitters are going to start to swing as their front foot is just getting into the ground, right? Now there are some hitters that might stride early and go on their toe, and so their hitting position is gonna be here because they're gonna launch right as that heel's about to drop, this leg is gonna to start to turn, heel's gonna drop, so that's their hitting position, right? So some guys are here, some guys are gonna be right as the foot's about to hit the ground. Just depends on what type of stride you have. But the key is, if you look at all the best hitters you are gonna see them all in a very, very similar position. Basically the exact same position, right? Because again, you have to get to that consistent strong heading position on time if you wanna get a good swing off. And if you're playing in the major leagues and you're being successful, then you clearly have a very good swing. So let's talk very quickly. What do you have to do? What is a good strong heading position? This is what I think is a good strong heading position. It starts with the lower body. The lower body has to be hips closed or coiled, however you wanna say it. So this is hips neutral, this is hips open, this is hips closed. You're gonna see a slight closing of the hips. This back leg is going to be loaded back in the opposite direction that it's going to turn. An easy way to think about it is think about taking your back pocket, if you're a righty, your right back pocket, if you're a lefty, your left back pocket, and getting that slightly turned towards the pitcher. Right? You're gonna see a slight turn. You're typically also gonna see, we call it butt behind our heels. So you're gonna see the hitter's butt get back behind their heels. If you have a hard time feeling that position, take a T, put the T behind you, get about this far away and feel yourself getting your butt turned back to the T. So feel that position, getting your butt on the T. If you have a wall or a net, you can just get up against the wall or a net and do the exact same thing. So feel the back pocket turning. So that's the first thing, getting the lower body coiled, getting the back leg loaded and ready to hit. The second thing is getting the upper body into position to hit. You're gonna see that the upper body, if you think about the torso, that is going to get coiled just like the lower body is going to get coiled. So my lower body gets coiled, my upper body gets coiled. This is the motion you're gonna see. You'll see it in basically every single high level hitter. When you see the upper body getting coiled, it's gonna be a slight turning in and typically down of the front shoulder. And you're also gonna see the rear arm, we call it a pullback. The rear arm is gonna get back behind the hands. So it's this move right here. Now hitters start in all different positions but they all do basically the same thing. You'll have some hitters that might pump their hands down, but they come back up and they get into that strong hitting position. So lower body coiled, upper body coiled and pulled back. So that right as our front foot is about to land, right, coiled, coiled, pull back. As we start to stride out, here is the key. As we start to stride out, we have to stay coiled with our lower body, keep our back leg loaded. We have to keep our upper body pulled back and coiled. 
and our upper body should feel like even though our lower body is moving out, our upper body is still loading and resisting back. That is the key. So I can't be here and then let my bo upper body go forward. And if I never get coiled and pulled back, well then I'm always gonna be forward. So I've gotta get coiled and pulled back and then I've gotta resist as I'm moving out. That is key for when our leg turns, now our upper body can work behind our, our back leg, okay, which is really key. We're not gonna talk a lot about that in this video, but that's part of our core principles. You have to get into that strong hitting position. You have to resist with the upper body as we stride out so that now I'm in a position where I can get the upper body to turn back as this goes forward, okay? If you wanna learn more about that, uh, we have a swing course. Go to our website, www.antelinebaseball.com. You can check it out there, or you can click in the description box below, and we go into it in much more detail. But that is the basics right there of what is a good hitting position. If you do that, and you consistently get into that position on time, when your brain wants to say swing, you're gonna be a way better hitter. The biggest thing I see with most hitters, they don't get into that position. And if you don't get into that position, it is almost impossible to have the swing that you want, okay? So hopefully that helps and makes sense. Let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former major league player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step by step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.